What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And this one is disturbing. It um touches topics of abuse and assault. So if you are someone who has been in that situation or not someone who has, this may be upsetting for you. As always, this link is in the description below to find helpline.com if you need help and support. But getting into the story, this one comes from TMZ. Snoop Dogg has been sued for sexual assault, and the rapper calls it a shakedown. Um, this is quite um a graphic one. I'm not gonna lie. A woman claims Snoop Dogg um forced her to have um to pleasure him. Let's put it that way. A woman claims Snoop Dogg forced her to pleasure him back in 2013. For a source representing the rapper says the woman lied and uh, filed the suit. Sorry, that the woman filed a suit on the heels of the Super Bowl where Snoop Dogg is performing in the halftime show, hoping she'd get a pay there. In other words, the allegations are nonsense in that um, it's just for a pay there. That's what Snoop Dogg's lawyers are arguing. The woman who is only identified as Jane Doe claimed on May 29, 2013, she attended one of Snoop Dogg's shows in Anaheim, California. After the show, the woman says Bishop Don. One, a long-time associate of Snoop's, offered her a ride home. She said she fell asleep in the car, and when she arrived, they were not at her home, but his home. The lawsuit says the plaintiff was exhausted and had fell asleep at Bishop's home. I don't know why she fell asleep at Bishop's home. This is the one thing that I don't understand, is if you ended up somewhere you didn't want to be, why would you not call um a taxi to pick you up? Why would you not call a family member or friend? Why would you not call someone and say, hey, this is not okay? Why would you not call police? Why would you not call someone to get away? It's a weird one. I don't understand why she stayed when she woke up, when she arrived and woke up, you know, to find that she was not at the place that she was supposed to be taken to. Um, I, I, I don't know. She says she awoke at 4 a.m. the next morning and Bishop removed his, from his pants and forced her to pleasure him. She says in the suit, Bishop discriminated against her and harassed plaintiff because of her sex and gender. She then says Bishop gave her a dress and told her to put it on so they could go to Snoop's studio, saying, I want to see if he will make you the weather girl for some TV show. The woman says in the suit, she's a model and dancer. She then claims she went to um, Snoop's, but had stomach ache, so she went to the bathroom, and while she was on the toilet, Snoop walked in, standing with his crotch in her face while she was defecating on the toilet and then forced her to pleasure him. She claims shortly thereafter, Bishop said to her, come here, take a picture with Snoop. And she says that she was scared and took the photo. Um, and then apparently Snoop wouldn't hire her, according to her, because she refused to willingly and enthusiastically do what he demanded of her. Snoop decides the entire story, saying it's a pack of lies. He posted an image on his Instagram calling her a gold digger. Sources tell TMZ the woman demanded just shy of $10 million. That demand was rejected. Both Snoop and Bishop Don Juan were sued for unspecified damages. And, they, and TMZ tried reaching out to Bishop for comment but was unable to contact him. Um, they believe this was in relation to him performing at Super Bowl. Um, and that she hoped that there would be a pair there. Um... <sighs> This is a hard one because we don't know the evidence behind this. We don't know what footage there was. But I I just don't understand why you would, one, when you arrive at someone's house where you don't know who they are, why you not call a taxi, a friend or anyone to get away from the place. I don't understand, too, if you were attacked in the middle of the night by someone, you would then continue to stay with them and even when you're in a public building or office somewhere, you know, she was out in public afterwards, why she wouldn't try and escape, why she wouldn't call someone, why she wouldn't call the police, why she wouldn't scream for help when she was away from Bishop. And then afterwards, you know, at the studio, then Snoop apparently attacked her as well. <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't know. 
we we weren't there, so we don't know what happened, and we don't have the evidence because it'll be in the case files, and that won't be shared because that's not how that works. It'll have to wait until, even if the case is done, it could get sealed depending on if it's settled or not. If it's not settled, we'll get the full record. But if it's settled, then um there could be an agreement in place not to discuss about it. So we we'll might never know if the allegations are true or what happened. It's a tough one. But this comes on the back of Snoop Dogg, who has taken over Death Row Records as the owner. He's bought it out now. So he owns the original record company that he, um, you know, worked at in his youth. And he said in a statement that he's thrilled and appreciative of the opportunity to acquire the iconic and culturally significant Death Row Records brand, which has immense untapped future value to 50-year-old Snoop Dogg said in a statement. It feels good to have ownership of the label I was part of at the beginning of my career. As one of the founding members, this is an extremely meaningful moment for me. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of an up and down time for Snoop Dogg at the moment. I honestly don't know. Um, the weirdest thing about this is I haven't really seen anyone talking about it. Um, despite this being out there, um, no one's talking about it, which is surprising because normally there would be condemnation from people and there seems to be none as of yet. Maybe the story hasn't gained traction or whatnot. We'll have to see what happens with the case and if there's a future update um, or if prosecutors bring charges in California against Snoop Dogg for these um, alleged incidents. But I, I I don't know. It happened in 2013. Um, maybe if the civil case, if that is won or settled, uh, there, no, even if it's settled, it could be a problem. I guess if it's won, if she wins the case, then maybe the prosecutors will relook at it and prosecute him. I don't know. Again, we don't know what level of evidence there is to prove or disprove this. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think down below about this one. And like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.